Teamwork. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Easy T Tactical. I'm Easy T. And I know it's been a minute since my last review, but two things family and health. And I had to take care of both of those. And now I'm back to do a review on this Ruger Max 9 9mm. So, first of all, before we get into this review, let's make sure this thing is safe. So, we don't have no rounds in the magazine, no rounds in the chamber. So this thing is completely safe. All right, so we're gonna jump right into this review of this thing. So again, this is the Ruger Max 9, and this is the model that comes already with the cutout for the red dot optic on here. So just a couple upgrades that I always do. I went with the Crimson Trace red dot. And we'll talk about this after we get back from the range. I also put, like I always do, the whole grip on this thing. And that's mainly because my grip has been in all my other videos. I just love this grip and I love how it makes this thing feel. So this thing comes with two magazines. First one, you got your 10 round magazine and it also have your little pinky extension right here, which is which is very good for someone who has a, you know, kind of a big hand. And then you have your 12 round magazine that comes with, and it just comes with this extension already on here, which makes this thing feel good as well. And so it comes with your fixed sights, your rear fixed sight, and also your tritium day night sight. It also has a model that does not have a safety, and only because it was on sale, I have your your extra safety right here. Some people like this safety, some people who conceal carry rather not have this. I prefer not to, but for this particular gun, I wouldn't have it on safe with them concealed carrying it anyway. But this thing has a different type of trigger, it has the curved trigger, but I think I, I like how this trigger feels. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing to the range, get it sighted in, get some rounds down range and then come back and then give a review stats on how we liked it, did we like it, did we not like it. See you in a minute. All right. Not bad, not bad. Still on point. We're back from the range. Did you see them rounds down range? Did you like them? I know you did. So real quick, this thing shot really, really well. I was really impressed with this thing. I mean, I was very accurate with this pistol. The red dot, once it got on target, it was nice. I mean, I loved how it feel. Um, of course, it's a micro compact, so it is snappy, but not as snappy as maybe the, the Hellcat. But I actually love the way this felt. Um, this is a good, awesome concealed carry weapon. I mean, this thing shot beautifully. Would I conceal carry it? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, this is a contender for going into this year as my new concealed carry. Now, the rounds we used on this thing were the Blazer rounds and they were on target well. I mean, I didn't have any hiccups, any jams. Uh, we shot probably over 100 rounds out of this thing all total. No problems, no issues. This thing is really, really, nice i really like it and this is all part of my 
Concealed Curry series. As you guys know who already seen my channel, I did the Hellcat, Springfield Armory Hellcat 9mm. I did the Taurus GX4. And then lastly, we're going to put on the list is the Sig Sawyer P365X. And that will be the last one of the Concealed Curry series that I'm doing. All right, so we're going to get into the pricing out of this thing. Uh, when I purchased this Ruger Max 9, I actually caught it on sale. Uh, I got it for 389 at Kentucky Gun Co. Um, right now, I believe this thing is running about $450. And the Crimson Trace site on this thing, uh, I actually caught that on sale as well. I paid about $160 for this thing. On an average, it's about $180. Uh, they do have the package that you can get them both together, and I think it's like $589 or something like that. Of course, the whole, you're talking about 14 bucks for the, the whole grip, but other than that, fairly decent price for this weapon. So, until the next time, appreciate you guys watching. This is a new studio that I'm in. It's still under construction, but I hope you guys like the scenery and the background and everything. Make sure you comment, hit the like button, and subscribe. And again, make sure you stay safe and stay tight.